comment was filled with philosophers, theorists, scientists, religious people, hipsters, and artists. And that was cool because we all had engaging conversations and shared different perspectives about life. But every comment is different. The comment after us was more athletic, the comment after them was really young, and the comment after them was very outgoing. And how they work. This is how our uniform looks. That's Orion teaching us all how to make creases on our shirts. You need two creases in the front where the pockets are, three creases in the back, and one crease on each arm. And even though the shirt is wet and looks grimy, he did a good job at explaining it. Some people are lazy and end up paying others to put creases in their shirts. So if you're looking for a way to make extra cash in the seas, learn how to make creases. And these are the ranks you can achieve in the seas. It goes blue hat, green hat, red hat, orange hat, yellow hat, black hat, then white hat. Damn, I sound like a Dr. Seuss book. Comet was so boring, I was always staring out the window. Going through all that training was draining, so we were always hyped when we were able to leave the classroom. On this day, we all loaded up and went to Santa Fe. Santa Fe is a storage unit where tools, supplies, and heavy machinery is stored. I never did like the CCC van. You never had any leg room, every small bump had you jumping out of your seat, and you either had to step over or go underneath the seat belt just to get out. Every time you go to Santa Fe, you have to wear your hard hat, eye pro, and gloves to prevent injury. Once all of our PPE was on, we went over why wearing our PPE was important, we covered the basic can tools and learned how to use them and what they were used for, we went over tool and safety terminology, and we also played a game, and the game was something like who could remember the five S's, which were straightness, strength, smoothness, sharpness, and secure. So in common, you talk about basic rules, you go on walks and hikes, you watch hilarious cringy safety videos, you get in groups and do skits about things related to the seas, you do lots of paperwork, and lastly, you do your drug test. And if you pass your drug test, you get hired. Oh, and you're unable to leave center until you complete Comet. Every time you walk on or buy something hazardous, you have to yell out footing. After a while, people are going to yell pudding instead of footing. I've warned you. What I honestly like about the seas is how it's a melting pot. There's a variety of different races, cultures, and individuals from different parts of the world that assemble into one community. I cannot let you guys snowball fight. Okay. I still can't let you guys do that. What if you just walk the other way? <laughs> It's like in this. In the... Right there. Where's the tip? It's like. But we kind of look like blue cardinals. That's how you get to the Bay Area. The Bay Area. Bay Area. Oh, is that uh, what's the Bay Area? Like San Francisco. Oh. Staring competition with Nate. <laughs> So we all thought we were done with Comet, but we all had to go back up to the classroom and the center director had a talk with us about what the CCC community was all about, um, what the C's was able to do for us, staying out of trouble. He talked about his life, he asked us questions, we got to ask him questions, and then he made us yell Tahoe Strong as loud as we could a couple times. And then after that, we received our blue hats for completing Comet. As you can see, it snows in Tahoe. Were you there when he asked me how stars are made? Can you explain that? I got many stars, why do they keep being made? Honestly, I really don't like talking about religion. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I'm a 
start on my laundry. Your stuff is in here. Is that all you have to wash? Is that one thing? Yeah. Alright. Order. Please use second laundry, second floor laundry. All right, so. Okay, so basically, to use the washer here in Lake Tahoe, it's a dollar seventy-five, and to dry it is one dollar and fifty cents. Now they're saying that they're going to make the washers free. Which is really good, but I mean, I don't know how long that's gonna last because people don't really know how to wash. Second, if they get broken, people are not gonna wanna pay for them to get fixed. So I doubt they're gonna do the free washers, and if they do, I don't think it's gonna last long. Just to update you guys, they did do the free washers and dryers. They're big, beautiful, and so far they're all in working condition. So all you newbies can disregard these next scenes. These are problems my comment and previous comments had to deal with. Oh, and look how small these washers are. They are super tiny. So don't expect you're about to be washing a whole bunch. My thing is like, I don't know. I think they should redo this whole setup in here and like try to get some bigger washers or more washers or something because this ain't doing it. <laughs> He's playing. So my alarm just went off, so my clothes should be done washing right now. I'm about to go down there, see if I can throw them in the in the dryer because I accidentally put a few coins in the dryer selection instead of the washer. So I mean, I hope hopefully I could still get that credit before someone else takes it. But let's see. Okay, so what I did was I took my clothes off the washer and I put them inside here because there's no available dryers. Now this is my friend Kios. It seems like he's pretty good at getting his clothes in and out of the washer and dryer. I don't know about this girl, but as soon as these clothes are done washing, if this is still here, then I'm going to take this out and leave it on the counter. Then I'm going to put these inside of here, and then when, when this load is done, if this one's available, then I'm going to put it inside here, but if not, it's going to go inside here. I'm going to be a savage like that because, I mean, people have to wash and dry, and I only, I basically only have today and tomorrow off, so if this needs to get done today, I'm not trying to do laundry tomorrow. I'll just stand here then until you're done, and everything dries up. So oh, this guy right here, Jonathan can sing. He's gonna play, he needs to be like a leader. He's gonna sing us a song today. This handsome guy right here is gonna sing us a song today. <laughs> Not to a voice. <laughs> so I'm about to give you a tour of the room. First, we open it up. We got our cleaning supplies right here. Trash can, cleaning supplies. We gotta um, take out the trash stuff. And then um, we have a bathroom here. Our shower. This right here is Al. Say hi, Al. Hey! <laughs> and over here. These are our lockers. When you're a comment, you first start off with these basic lockers. They're not the best, but I mean, they'll hold you for the first two weeks or however long you have to go through comment. And then over here, I have my pants. And then, um, yeah, we have our other stuff right here. And then sometimes the comment rooms, it can be as big as six people living in a room. So here's two extra bunk beds, but they're not being in use right now. We just put our stuff on there every time we need extra space. Then we have the three beds, or the bunk bed, and then the regular beds. 
And this one here is David. Say hi, David. Hi, <laughs> David. <laughs> He's a comedian. What's real? And then you already know, we got my boy right here. The singer, the pretty boy. <laughs> and then this is our view. And here's the balcony. All the other rooms are connected to the balcony. But yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> now in the comment rooms, you'll find these full-size lockers instead of those little ones we had. But besides that, the comment rooms still look the same. Hold on. Daisy. Is it Daisy? Okay, it's not Daisy. Yeah. Watch out for Marcus. Let me see the phone. Oh, you right here. This is all Lucas shit. Damn, it don't speak anymore. Damn, this is tight. This is what how it how it's life? Yeah. Big ass. It only, it only looks like this on the weekends. Huh, this is tight. Besides the weekends, it don't look like this. We don't even have chairs. How did you guys pass know. the inspection today? There we go. Oh, only no, comments. Oh, only comments? At the Tahoe Center, there's three people to a room. Everyone has their own bulletin board, bed, and locker, but you will have to share the bathroom, heater, and AC. Oh, and some rooms have a table and chairs. Can you first take your pass? Uh, you passed it? Yeah, the first one. You had, um, but that's only because I had my car before I even had my license. I didn't have no insurance, no license. I was driving around for like a whole month. Oh. I ended up staying in Marcus and Yuri's room to edit my videos while they played video games. It got boring after a while, so I dipped out. It is currently snowing right now, and I'm going to go to the cab meeting. It's so damn cold, but it's cool. Hope I don't slip. I was coming to get you. There she is. Oh yeah, I got. We got. I went through training today, and we can kiss or touch. Well, we can hold hands only. But I don't think anyone's here. So. Why are you be getting all dressed up? Stuff. He's right with clothes. Don't make me run. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Don't run. You're going to slip. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Please thumbs up this video if it was helpful. Subscribe to the channel and find out what's in my PPE, spike, or emergency bag by clicking the link below. And if you're interested in the same products I use, you're able to purchase them directly from Amazon.